right, so there's a lot of hype going around specifically around VTubers and iPhone facial tracking. And if you've been paying attention to my channel, um, maybe you have seen a couple videos covering that topic. Today's video, we're gonna be comparing iPhone facial tracking in VC face versus the high quality facial tracking that you can get in VC face just using your webcam. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because there's gonna be a bonus thing that I'm gonna be telling you about. And the link is actually not gonna be in the description. And the only way to get this, um, this cool thing is basically to pay attention to the end of the video. Before you export your model, you need to make sure that your model uh, has these extra settings enabled. I know sometimes some people skip them over, but uh, just have like the looks and the individual blinks set up. Here in VC Face, you have to go into um, the webcam settings and you have to actually enable the high quality um, tracking with Wink support. And here you can see a direct side-by-side -side comparison between iPhone facial tracking as well as webcam facial tracking. These are running at the same time in parallel. And the only thing that I've modified is basically I disabled the head movement so that um, it's a lot easier to see the face. And here I'm just expanding the video out just so that you can see, hey, I'm running two instances side by side. Now, once again, one thing I would really like to reiterate, um, those of you who follow me on Twitch know this very well, is that in no way do I ever advocate that you need to spend money in order to be a successful VTuber. Usually um, when people pop into my stream and they're like, hey, I'm thinking about getting this. And yes, it is, it's one of those things that's definitely a nice to have, but there are definite examples of people that have a PNG as their VTuber model and they're way more successful. It's, 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 a, it's a similar thing to what was happening a while ago where people would spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their cool streaming setup with like RGB lights, expensive microphone setup before they even streamed day one. And then they're like, where are all the people viewing? The most valuable asset that you have in your streaming career on Twitch or YouTube or wherever you make content is, is not the material things. It's the thing that's utterly irreplaceable and that's you. Are you a VTuber trying to get more out of your facial tracking? Are you having problems positioning your iPhone and making your face go crazy? Are you just not able to find the right position for your iPhone? Stuck with that frozen facial expression that doesn't move with your facial tracking? I have the solution for you, and the solution is Fofamit's AR Kit Test Model. AR Kit Test Model. AR Kit Test Model. Test Model. Yes, that's right, the AR Kit Test Model. And it's available for the low cost of three easy payments of free, free, free. Click on the link in the video description or scan this QR code. If you decide to get iPhone facial tracking, one thing in particular that can be difficult is phone placement because where your iPhone is actually placed is super important towards the quality of your iPhone facial tracking. What I've done is I developed a great test model that will allow you to see which blend shapes are activated so you can um, better know what distance you need to be from your iPhone. Cause a lot of people won't end up getting like a, a, a really fancy headset, like what I have to hold your iPhone, but instead they'll just have their iPhone, like either mounted to like their monitor or they'll have like an arm or they'll just have it taped to a bottle. Please click on this link. That's going to be appearing on the screen. And this is how you can get your hands on this free test model. Thank you so much for everyone for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and once again, this video can't be possible without my supporters on Patreon that you'll see on the screen right now. And if you want to stop by and have a conversation, I also stream on Twitch and the link for that will be in the video description down below. Bye bye.